Hello YouTube, welcome once again to the Turbo Series, and today we're going to be going in on the Dragon Boat Festival. We've already got 54 of the tokens, which we've gotten from answering the questions. We need to go ahead and do this Dragon Boat stuff to get ourselves a lot of rewards to move the account forwards, including a lot of Stellar Shards. So, to get things started, we will need to go ahead and buy value packs, but I'm not going to be buying these with money. No, no, we're going to be buying these with contract story gems. We're going to buy both top packages and both second tier packages, and that's going to get us a ton of these Dragon Boat tokens. As well, we're going to get a lot of profit orbs, a lot of gems, and we can actually get ourselves some sweet lollipops as well. So because we're going to get a lot of progress in the Fantasy Factory, it makes sense to go ahead and buy as well from this the Relay. That's going to get us 120 Dragon Boat tokens, which is amazingly helpful. And it's going to get us Starry Gems, it's going to get us Cores, Stellar Shards, and benefited double bonus rewards from the Fantasy Factory. All of that is pretty solid value. So we're going to go ahead and pick all this up as well. So let's buy this Relay. There we go, folks. The Luck Relay has been purchased. Very nice. Let's go to the Auction House and... Oh, no! I was outbid on an Onkiramaru. Da 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 da. Brrr. That's sad. But we can go ahead and convert these Prism Story Gems, taking us up to 26,963, which is pretty juicy. It's quite a lot. Awesome. What I will do as well, guys, is we are going to send ourselves to the Dragon Boat Festival now that we have 354 of these Dragon Tokens. But that is not quite enough to get ourselves two fully complete boats. We're going to have to go ahead and do some Profit Orbs. Now, the Profit Summon prizes are going to get us 22 of these tokens every single pass-through, and we're probably going to need to do this, what, like seven times, I think? Yeah, seven times sounds about right. So, if we go take a look at our Profit Tree, I'm on 600. We'll do double batches in everything, except for probably, like, Fortress or something. I, I don't know. We'll do a bit of something, something. It'll happen. We'll have a good time. All in a light and dark. No, we've done that once for content, but I actually do need hero copies at this point, so let's send it. So we'll start with Forest. Let's see what we can pick up. We got ourselves a five star there. That's a Chief. We're going to get just four stars in this one. From there, we're going to get a Thale. Get ourselves... Oh, two five stars there. Molasserin crew. That's not bad. Got ourselves more four stars coming in here. Let's go again with... Okay, wow. That's Chief and Demon Hunter. That's nice. Can we get some more five stars from that? Yes, we can. We got Geesta and an Entelder. Lovely stuff. Next up, we'll get ourselves just some four stars. And how many is that we've used so far? We've used 80. Okay, I just need to do another 100 now then. So that's two Zekis and a Dragon Slayer. That was really good. We've got ourselves more four stars there. We've got ourselves four stars again. From this next batch, it's going to be two. We get a Windwalker and a Headstriker. Got ourselves more four stars with a Faceless. And was that an Entelder there too? That's kind of cool. Four stars again. And that's going to be Grey-Eyed. That's going to be Chief. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. And final 10 here, that's going to be... Wow, Vessa, Faceless, Chief, and Head Striker. That is 160. All done in the Forest Faction. Let's go and now and do it in the Fortress Faction. We got ourselves OD. We're going to get ourselves two five stars there. That's Christian and Bleaker. We got ourselves one, two more five stars there. That's pretty sick. And that's going to be, okay, four stars again. Actually, I don't want to do 160 in Fortress. Let's just do 80. We got ourselves I am Bambi. From this, we're going to get ourselves... Okay, that's a Mirage. That's not bad. With some four stars. Another Mirage comes through. And the final one is going to be... Okay, some four stars again. Next up, we've got ourselves the Shadow Faction. 160 in here, please. Let's see what we can pull. We got a Karma. Nice. We got ourselves... Okay, Grumpy Corpse and a Walter. That's interesting. He's getting an Ithaca. Maybe. But that's some four stars there starting us off. Got ourselves another Gabagbo right there with more four stars coming in. And there you go. That's four stars again. Okay, let's do this again with Lutz. We've got a hundred more to do here. We've got ourselves four stars with another Lutz. This next one is going to be a Walter. From here, we get ourselves ooh, Gabagbo, Field, and Lamb. That's a pretty sick pull. Getting a lot of five stars there. Four stars again. And the next one is going to be Aiden and a Lamb. And then we got 40 left. It's going to be four stars going to be more four stars we got ourselves a walter we get ourselves a death sworn in the final 10 that's going to be oh it's not your back bow it's grumpy corpse i was so wrong guys i'm so you're right and that was a double grumpy corpse pull there so if we take a look now at our profit summer prices we've done five full completes so we just need to do 160 now in abyss let's get some good heroes we get ourselves nothing just some four stars womp womp four stars again I get an Illyria from this one. We want to get a lot of Akasha copies. That's kind of the ideal here. 
That's a Lemington. That's a Fat Moo. That's going to be... Oh, more four stars. Four stars again. Oh, my word. A wall deck. Love to see it. Very nice. A Norma and a Tana and double Destroyer. That was really solid. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking like we're getting some good stuff here. Another Tana there. That's a lot of food. We got ourselves... Ooh, Cthulhu and Immolatus. And uh, yeah, we should be finishing up now. Getting close to the end. That's going to be Balrog through here. And okay. Last one. It's just an Immolatus again. So that should be, what, another 160 there done in Abyss. That's a lot of rewards coming through. And if we take a look, that's 7 out of 8 complete. Which means I should have just over 500 of the tokens. Yep. We've got ourselves 508. Now, you could argue I could have saved some Profit Orbs and not pushed up with the final 30 here. But I did just want to get a Cora Transcendence, the Relics, and the Charm Treasure Coupons. I think... For 30 Profit Orbs, it's, it's, it's value. So yeah, with all that done, let's get Dragon Boating. So here there are lots of different boats you can get, different rewards. Crystals of Transcendence are there. We get Stellar Shards on this one. I know a lot of you guys are enjoying the uh, potential chance of getting yourself some Treasure Train items. These buff Holy Damage and Crit Damage respectively. So different items available here. Whichever one you go for, uh, let us know in the comment section. A lot of you leaning towards Stellar Shards as these are the most valuable resource, but some of you wanting to go for treasure items, that's okay as well. I'm personally going to be doing 50% in four of them, though, because I really need some Divine Power Aurora Gems. With that, I'll then finish the blue one, getting me some extra Stellar Shards. How many parts is a boat? It's two and a half parts for a boat. We want to do 10 boats. So let's get 25 green parts. Here we go. And then what we're going to be doing is using the auto arrange feature to make this easier for us. But I am going to start off by just using this and just putting in these squares because I'm lazy. This is going to clear two boats for us anyway. So this is this just makes life really easy. So we go there, 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 there and there. And that's two full boats. Look at that ton of resources coming through here. Right. We'll put that there like that. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll slap that on there like that. And we'll just do this twice like that there we go we'll do it again and then we'll put in the two by two and that's another double clear that gets us a real gar wine which we can use if we need to tidy things up so what we do is we just shove everything in in one big fat mess and i know this looks horrendous that's the idea we want it to be really messy oh no big mess what on earth will i do we will auto arrange and instantly get a clear and then we get another real gar wine from there Slap that there. And then we got one piece left. We'll put it in. Auto arrange. And there you go. That's all green boats done. 10 out of 20. All right, let's go do the same now with the blue boats. You can see this is pretty easy when you've got the wines. It makes life so nice. So for this one, for the blue boats, we're going to need 50 tokens. Because we want to complete this and get all the stellar shards. So we're going to get a bunch of these. All right, we've made it to the very end now. So we go ahead and put this in here. And we use the wine to finish. There you go. Next up, we need to do red. So we're going to buy ourselves some red parts. We need 25 of these. It's going to cost us 100 tokens. Let's go and do the same again. So we're putting all our squares like so. I'll use a straight edge here too. Can even drop that in there. That's our first clear. And I'll just shove all this stuff in. And uh, that'll be some more boats for us. Well, we've made a mess of that one. Let's use the wine. Tidies it up. It's as if nothing ever happened. Nice. Should be able to finish it off pretty cleanly here. Use that straight edge. We've got ourselves this wiggly piece. Go ahead and whine again. And that's going to be 10 out of 20 in the red. So now we just need to do the same thing here for the yellow boats. So let's go ahead and buy these parts. Now you might be wondering why am I only doing one boat? Uh, the reason is I really need uh, Aurora gems. They're a really important currency for me. So I've got to get my hands on them. So I have to go ahead and get the reward for doing 50% in four. If I had a lower amount of Spirit Veins, I'd be chasing Spirit Veins, though. But yes, Spirit Veins, I have quite a lot of. I've managed to get quite a few of them from events. So I'm at a point now where Aurora Gems are what I need to focus on. Okay, we're going to wind this now. That should tidy things up. And then we can go ahead and put this last piece in here. Wine again. And that is going to be 10 out of 20 of our yellow boats. And there we go. That is pretty simple, clean, and done. So let's go to our goal rewards now. And we have ourselves tons of stuff to claim. So, first of all, we're going to get ourselves an artifact chest. Next, we're going to get ourselves probably stellar shards, as that's the thing I need the most of. 
for having two at 50%. I think I'm just going to grab myself a core of origin chest. For this one here, I think the origin artifact selection chest is a fun grab. I could go with sublimation, but I actually really do want to get some of these new artifacts. From here, we're going to get ourselves some Aurora gems. And that is a pretty solid selection of rewards that we've managed to pick up. So let's go ahead and claim all of these. And now the funny thing is, for me to get this next three stages of rewards, where there's a lot of stuff available, right? All of this is huge. There's quite a lot of Destiny materials up for grabs. And you've got that top level as well, which is getting you even more stuff. For me to fully max this, I would need 300 tokens. To buy that is a completely different ballgame. I would have to buy every single value package here which would make it 450 bucks. That's not great. That's quite a lot of money. Um, the rewards are nice, but not for 450 bucks. Yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it. I don't want to waste that kind of money on this. I don't think it's worth it. So I do have a lot of gems, and I would like to get myself some of these rewards here, as these are offering stellar shards. So I think it's now time to make 25 Zongji. Now, if we look here, Mockman likes Wasabi. That's just wasabi and rice, and Mockman's like, yeah, it sounds delicious. Anyway, we need to buy ourselves 25 of these. Easily done. There you are. That's a lot of stuff. Now let's go give this to Mockman. There we are. Likes a strong smell. Well, you can have some stinky tofu. There you go. Get a whiff of this, Eos. Ah, that's interesting. Alamac likes strong smelling things, but not stinky tofu? Right, what else has a strong smell then? Wasabi? Great. Have just a wasabi sandwich. There you go, buddy. Just ignoring the other customers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patricia and, and Betty can just chill. Like, imagine if this was way more difficult and they decided that you had to put four different ingredients in and you had to dodge the things they don't like. That would be quite tricky. But yeah, you get the idea. We're, we're nearly done. It happened and we got all the bonus rewards. Well, there you go, folks. We've got ahead and spent all our Zongjis. Got ourselves quite a good pile of rewards coming through here. Let's see how that's done for Stellar Shards. 3.8 million is not that bad. Now, if we take a look at the rest of our stuff, I mean, we could, if we really wanted to do squeeze some Destiny stuff onto these heroes. I don't know if that's a great idea right now. It, it's probably a questionable decision, but I could. Like, it's an option, maybe, to put Destiny on someone. I don't want to, though. I think we're good. With all that said, we do have ourselves now lots of core origin shard chests and all that good stuff that's come through. We've got this origin artifact selection chest as well, which I think we're just going to save until we have more of them. I want to build Dragon Ruyi, so we'll just wait a little bit until then. And um, yeah, other than that, we're looking pretty good. So let's go ahead into the Ethereal Realm and put our team to the test and see how we do. Now, we've already done a little bit of a fight here. We've got some of this resource here called the Energy Source Cube, which we can use to build some of our places. But I want to level the Sanctuary Tower before we do anything. To level the Sanctuary Tower, I need to go to the Tableland, and we need to go ahead and find some enemies. Uh, so we'll head over to here, do that, and we win immediately. That's fantastic. We've got ourselves a purple enemy. Now, I've heard the purple enemies are quite tough. Let's let's not skip the battle, but we will use the default team. Let's see how this plays out. Uh, we're getting some poke damage on them. That's not that bad. We've got a stun there. And, oh, they barely hit at all. Oh, goodness me. We're actually tanking this completely fine. Now, I want to see if the debuffs that we've done to them are going to stick. Because if that's the case, there's lots of cool strats we can come up with, assuming they don't have Purify. Yep, so it seems these guys with guns just join in on every attack. And, oh yeah, the debuffs have stuck. Uh, that's pretty interesting. But if they have damage over time Purify, that'll be a bit of a shame. Oh, they could, there's the bleed. Okay, let's let's hope that sticks. Oh, I think we're just going to win at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I think we win. Oh, wait, no, this bleed's staying. I wonder if... Uh, we're going to see what happens at round four. I think it's frozen. Uh, skip. Okay, it was still a win. But that was weird. I don't know what happened there, but something broke. Lol. Either way, we've got ourselves a bunch of the currency now, so we can level up our sanctuary tower. So that takes it to 2,000. And woo, we need a lot of the other resources now. Man, they've gone to town with this. There's so many different items. This is like wildly in depth. All right, so we've unlocked the boss. So we could jump straight in and fight the main tower, or we can try and fight the buffs around the outside. So that's giving 100,000 soldiers to the main tower every day. This is giving, at the beginning of the battle or at the end of the round, causes damage to a random enemy and applies bleed for two rounds. Doesn't even tell us how much damage. This gives it extra HP and extra attack. 
And this says at the beginning of the battle, I know at the end of a round, causes damage to a random enemy and applies poison. Okay, that sounds winnable. There's a boss at the back here, so if we put Aspen in slot 5, that should be pretty easy. Um, problem is, Aspen's already where he is, but it's good to know that putting your boss killer on the back line is pretty good. We don't only have one shot at this, right? We can fight the camps, then work our way around. Oh, we have limited attacks per day. Oh, we're down to three. Hmm. You can buy more with gems though, right? Let's, let's just go do the fight tower as well. Uh, let's go hit thing that's giving it attack and HP buffs. That's probably worth killing. It's just lowering the boss's HP is just going to help us get the kill anyway. So you can see we're absolutely mincing these guys. They're no threat to us whatsoever. So that's great to see. Could we just go fight the boss? Oh, there we go. The fight finally loaded. Goodness gracious. Takes a sweet time. Right. Okay. So this guy is joining in on a lot of hits. And he stuns? Ah, oh, this guy's horrendous. Yikes, man. And everyone here is crowd controlled from this guy? Bro, this sucks. And I can't change the order of my heroes, unfortunately, Rip Mamba. Once you put your team in, it's locked. Which really is annoying about this game mode. So we were just saying that earlier, that actually, if you are going to go put your team in, stick Aspen on the back row. I like this game mode in theory, but it is buggy as hell. Really buggy. I mean, the, the hero art for the enemies is gorgeous. It looks really cool. But to constantly get hit by these bugs, that's less cool. So one other thing we can do here is sign up for the Aurora Sanctuary. So I guess this is just a PvP game mode. So yeah, we'll get to see what that's all about. Hopefully I'll have some of my heroes back by then. And it requires the command post level 2. Ah, yeah, because we upgraded this. That makes sense. So once you get this upgraded to level 2, that unlocks it. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. It would be nice if it wasn't so buggy, though. If we could watch the fights and actually see what was going on. And I hate the fact it locks in the team. That was a little annoying. So knowing that you can send the team back and rebuild it, that's good to know. I know a lot of people got screwed over because it locked in the team initially. The tutorial was kind of crap for that reason. What I need to do now is just wait for my team to come back, and I think that's going to be me. And we'll probably make some more content on this once we've figured it out a bit more. This is just us dipping our toes in, getting our heads around how this works. And uh, yeah, should be pretty cool to see more of this on the Turbo series and make some more progress here in the ethereal realm. The only issue is it is a daily thing. I won't be able to make videos about it every single day, but I can keep you guys up to date with different strats and things as we figure them out. Either way, guys, we've had a bit of a blast today going ahead and doing some profit orbs, and we'll do our Heroic Miracle later in the week when we do our Fantasy Factory stuff, but we've got a lot of progress to enjoy in Fantasy Factory as well because we have a lot of lollipops, and that's going to result in a lot of cool stuff like food and artifacts. And we can use all that to help ourselves make some further progress. And we will be needing to build some extra heroes on here, which will be good. So yeah, excited to see more content come into here as we build up the team and make things stronger. But for now, guys, we're going to call it a day. Your Theory Realm's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you've got any tips or strategies, I'd love to hear them in the comment section. Either way, guys, I'll see you next time. Join us for more Turbo Series content in the future. And until then, have an amazing week. And of course, happy idling.